Okay. Uh, you can even so there are some movies or there are some um, dramas or movies about this TV series and all. You can take a face of some other person. In, this is a uh, in research level also it was there, but uh, the movies like face of I don't know whether you have watched. There are some movies where you can print the face of some other person and using a surgery you can add that face to you. So those kind of things are there in the world. Maybe in future, it is difficult to it is difficult to protect your identity because someone else is going to use your face and your pose uh, posture or your face. Someone else is going to use. So those are challenges in future. Right. Okay. So please write down these things. If if not, if you have finished, write down. Then I can move to the next one. Finished. Shall I move to the next one? Okay. Quickly write down, then I can move to the next one. When printing, uh, okay, for an example, printing pizza, you have to put flow and uh, related uh, ingredients. But printing building, you have to use the relevant materials like concrete and all. Nothing else. Okay, this is how buildings are printed. You can just watch videos. I'm not going to show you videos related to this. Okay, these are, since uh, if you have finished, write down, I can go to the next. Okay, let's move. All right, let's move to the uh, book. So e-governance. So before discussing this, I just want to mention common terminologies related to e-commerce and e-governance. E-commerce and e-governance, some related terminologies. So these are the related terms. E-commerce, e-commerce, and e governance. So the related terminologies are G for government, C for consumer, B for business and E for employees. Okay, that is the case. Then what is G to C? What is G to C? You call government to consumer or government to customer. What is C to C? Yeah, it is consumer to consumer. consumer. So what is B to C? What is B to C? B to C is business to consumers. That is called B to C. So likewise, you have many terms since you have four B to E business to employee. G to E, government to employ. Right? Yes, 3D printing house much more cost effective than manual process. Yes, 3D printing house is relatively cheaper than manual construction. But the thing is, the printer is expensive. Printer is really, really expensive. Uh, so initial cost will be very, very high. So my, I have one idea, I have an idea. One day I want to uh, print uh, a house using 3D printing. But only thing is, it is really difficult to buy the machine. If there's a company, if there's a, if there's a company who can purchase a machine and do this for us, so it will be really cost effective. Saving millions of money. But initial investment will be very, very high. Okay, uh, so these are the terminologies. Government, please write down e-commerce and e-governance. These are the terms G, C, B, and E. So if you know G, C, B, and E, you, you can write anything. Government to employee. Employee to business. Consumer to business, so business to consumer. Consumer to business. So anything you can write. All these are e-commerce and e-governance terms. E-governance is basically when G is there, it is called e-governance. When G presents, so I'll highlight when G is there, when this G is there, it is called e-governance. All other terms are called e-commerce. 
ජී එක තියෙනවා නම් ඊ ගවර්නන්ස් කියලා කියනවා අනිත් ටර්ම්ස් වලට කියන්නේ ඊ කොමර්ස් කියලා. ෆිනිෂ්ඩ්. ඔකේ ලෙට්ස් මූව්. මේ වෙන්නේ සර්. ඔකේ. So then the next thing in the book it says about uh, where this ICT is used. Where the ICT is used. Basically, you can see the example: government to consumer, renewing your driving license, renewal the vehicle license, payment utility bills to government, maybe electricity bills and all, accessing government organizations, getting information from government information service. So the Hana Mei Anu Kelagi, nineteen ninety. or you can call ambulance 1990 ambulance service i cannot remember the number 990 yeah doc 990 service yes you are okay the hanam yanu ne 990 yeah uh, then um, the legal information and uh, map of sri lanka you can obtain from government and government to governments other governments in other countries visa process visa pro process so the transfer process from one country to another country this is done through the government to government services and government law help in tourist promote in tourism and government approved uh, hotels and boards for businesses government to business you can call tenders legal information business organization information business registration related details payment services like atm the pay lanka pay like services and government to employees so gazettes circulars right the circular or law part is always the legal system it's here and here government law it's there here also business law business related thing it's there and for employees employees law or circulars and gazettes employees law law is everywhere so these are some aspects of the some areas of government services okay since this is there in the book i'm going to skip uh, i'm going to i'm not going to give you not related to this because this you just read the book you will understand and application of education field in application of education field basically three things when it comes to education one is called cbt ict in education so one is called cbt train people without a teacher no teacher at all but you can still train the people using the computer so for an example okay if you are driving a vehicle normal vehicle you can put l board and go in the road samane vehicle ekak drive karaddi l board ekak gahagena wada paare yanna puluwa can you do the same for flight flight ekak geniyaddit puluwa can you can you do the same aircraft can you put yes, l board and go it's not possible so we are using uh, so flight simulators example flight simulators okay flight simulators and you can uh, write uh, here um, type in um, computer type in training uh, and many simulators and emulators for example okay uh, there are lab simulators where you can do chemistry practicals there are lab simulators where you can simulate the practicals and see you can provide the status of different different status of uh, and different different chemicals and do the practical so one thing so this is not simulator but i'll show you small example if you go to ptable.com a site like ptable.com here you can see compounds you can see compounds go to compounds and i'm going to drag 
hydrogen and oxygen yes oxygen yes hydrogen and oxygen so you can see in left side you can see what are create what can be created what are the compounds can be created using hydrogen and oxygen hydrogen oxygen pavichikala hadana deva hadana deva you can see the details here there are many so one is h2o we all know that h2o as ice h2o as steam h2o as water h2o as water or oh, hydrogen per peroxide h2o2 used for cleaning purpose and you can see using hydrogen and oxygen these things can be created i can check h2o2 so then how h2o2 created and what is the uh, view what is the shape of h2o2 likewise i can explore or oh, this is h2o2 hydrogen peroxide and properties of h2o2 and angles of the bond likewise i can expl explore this more so if you wish to do uh, mathematics or if you wish to do mathematics or science after your all levels i recommend you to train this go and remember this if you are planning to do mathematics or science after all levels please remember this ptable.com because i i have never seen a chemistry teacher or chemistry lecturers using this to teach students but this is very important this is interactive you can increase the temperature and see how the status of these elements are changing i can see the electron views how hydrogen has electrons it has only one and how helium and how lithium it has three how those are organized into spd groups so these are in a levels but no one is going to use these kind of things to teach so as students who did ict you should use ict for your education and this is one thing okay some other examples cbt classroom training and education you have different different websites like schoolnet etaxalav vidumampeta i know some of these are not really active but still you can access and see what's there and teachers can use it so here i'm using this so this is called computer aided teaching computer aided teaching we call cat computer aided teaching teachers can use computer and with the help of computer he can he or she can teach i'm doing that computer aided teaching and you can learn using computer that is called computer aided learning so these are some important things please remember these things so it's better if you write can write down these terms and in your book in education cbt cal and cat in education you can use cbt cal and cat cat this computer aided designing that is not in education but in designing you can use cat computer aided designing and there's some there's one called computer aided manufacturing cam there's another one called case computer aided software engineering so those are not related to education right cat cam case finish yes sir okay so i would like to show one video before we finish because we are about to finish the lesson today so next week we can finish the total lesson or the lesson number 1 and discuss the questions so before we finish i would like to show you small video this is actually how modern agriculture use machines so please see the video so this is actually for landscape that is not the scape in that actually this is for land preparation the giant machine is used for land preparation and you can see how land is preparated for agriculture fortunately we don't have this machines in sri lanka if you have this machines you will not be able to see even a single tree Yes, currently, even without machines, we are doing this. We are removing our tree layer, even without using machines. 
So if our, one of our ministers get this kind of machine, you assume what will happen. And this is actually uh, another thing. This is for actually, this is to pluck uh, uh, corns. Here, you can see corn. Without using, uh, without using human energy, a machine is used to cut these and select Sort of method. You can see this is loaded to the bucket. And drones. Drones are used in agriculture. Why? So spreading fertilizers. Spreading fertilizers can be done using drones. And that is safe. That is safe because so the spreading fertilizers using human energy might have some issues because this is spoiled, uh, this is like, it's not good for health. It's poisoning. So here cabbage, machine is used to get that. Here again, spreading fertilizers. A large machine is used to spread fertilizer. This is to actually, these are, you can see a pota uh, yes, it's potato like thing. It's not actually potatoes, but seems like. So loading and this here, yeah, loading. Loading is automated. So these are some innovations of agriculture machine. Then this is again, you can see how these apples. It will go closer to the tree and then you can see what's happening. Sorry. It will go to the tree and then uh, shake in the tree till get the fruit just by shaking the tree. You can see it's loaded to this. Okay, these are some innovations and applications of ICT and technology machines in ICT industry. Okay, with that, I'll stop for today, stop today's lesson. Uh, but we have to discuss one more day to finish this chapter and I'll discuss the question related questions after finishing that. Next week, we will be finishing chapter number one. And now we are in chapter number three as well. We will discuss both chapters. And we have to discuss chapter two, that is a theoretical chapter. Okay, with that, I'll stop for today. Then good night. And let's Thank move. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. Good Thank night, you, sir. sir. Thank you, sir. Good night. Thank you, sir.